Chris here and welcome back to another video of World Conqueror 2. So this is part 3 of Bulgaria as uh, Bulgaria in night in uh, energy crisis right here. I can't speak for some reason but yeah I guess and uh, we are going to destroy this guy over there. But anyways if you guys haven't seen the previous two parts I strongly recommend that you do so before watching this video. But anyways, let us continue on with uh, what we are doing right here. So, um, first things first, we've got the French over here that we really need to take care of. And that is not looking too great for us. And we, because they got the goal over there, so uh, we're going to build a level 4 city right here. And that will mean that we will get quite a bit of income. And... Uh, our tank can pretty much heal faster as well and what we're going to do here is we are going to be sending off these units right here to heal up in uh, Rome and yeah so essentially what we're going to do here is we are going to be yeah basically just hanging on to dear life at least until we take out the goal right here because uh, we should be able to get the supply line in the next round and that would mean that we can restore our commander back to full health and then taking on the goal will be a lot easier because uh, I'm not sure if any of you know this probably you guys do because you guys are so much better than me at like basically everything right now but if a unit is in water and it attacks it basically kind of suffers a penalty and uh, basically the attack of the of an enemy of of a unit right there in water will actually be weakened. So that is the uh there's the feature right here that we want to be taking advantage of, and that would basically mean, yeah, a lot of difference. And furthermore, in the water, all units can only attack once or move once because it only has one movement point. So that would mean the gore would be attacking us once instead of twice like they normally would so that will be a lot of help for us and uh yeah so basically the goal right here something that we definitely do want to deal with and of course um let's move that guy there and move that guy back so we're going to let the artillery take the hit over here and uh what we're going to do here is we are going to be Yeah, we can. We will get a supply line the next round. Okay. Um, never mind. Let's just attack again. Then we will use a supply line now. And all of a sudden, yeah, our commander has been magically restored back to full health, which is awesome right there. And uh, what we are going to do here is we are going to be taking this territory right here, and that will provide us with a little bit more income. And then uh, we are going to attack that guy, uh, chip him down a little bit, but we don't want to destroy him because that will mean that the French will be piling up units right there. And basically, this half health unit is more preferable compared to a fully, uh, basically a full health unit right there. So we want to keep that guy alive right now. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to let the tank take the hit over here. And we are going to try and chip away at the goal, if we can. And the thing is that we have a lot of income now, like a lot when compared to when we first started off the game. So that is going to be a lot of help for us. And also we also get, uh, we also get some assistance from the Soviets because the Italians have managed to break through over to the Soviets, which means, yeah, that is right. We are receiving a lot of help right now and that will basically be the end of the Italians. Once Graziani goes down, it will be a little long, a little slow definitely, but Graziani will definitely go down in the end. And what we need to do now is we need to get artillery units to uh, start to attack the French forces because they are really piling up like crazy right now. And we, 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 we cannot sustain this. We, Definitely cannot sustain this right now. And 
uh, they are basically damaging us more than we could actually heal up so that is not really looking too good for us but anyways uh, the Turks are going to yeah they're just going to do their own thing I guess and the Indians are going to fight back against yeah okay it's it's pretty much over for the Indians I guess the Americans have landed like yeah it, they have landed Nimitz in the Middle East so yeah it's not really looking too good for them but anyways uh, we want to take out that artillery and then uh, we are going to get ourselves an artillery unit right there mm. okay let's get a, a sword out right there attack that guy ooh 41 damage that is a uh, uh, that is definitely something I would take right there that's a lot of damage and uh, we are going to attack the Gaul once again but this time we are going to be uh, placing an infantry unit down and we want to preserve the health of our commander right now because well we have we have sub, uh, we used a supply line on him last round and in this round we have yeah he's been back to half health so that is not really too good for us so we are going to be using infantry units here to take the hits essentially and we are going to attack ooh that is really great um okay now that is not really great <laughs> but yeah okay so anyways we've got two infantry units there so that means that the city won't be reduced to a level two and we also want to preferably move a unit up i think uh yeah let's move this guy up over here and we we need to buy an infantry unit at uh sofia later uh in the next round just to make sure that the italians don't actually capture sofia from us because that is a significant portion of our income right there we we have like three cities i guess uh, we've got sofia we've got yeah, okay, Graziani is down. We've got Sofia, we've got Athens, we also got Rome. And we've also got that city just south of Rome. So that is going to be quite a bit of income for us. And that will be about... Not sure, but I think it's a hundred, about a hundred income. And yeah, that is going to be a, a, a really helpful right there. We definitely need the Soviets to quickly break through over to the French because... Things are not really looking too good for us right now. And yeah, okay, the Italians just use an airstrike on us. But yeah, we should be able to hold off the Italians and the French. Because uh, yeah, we have better units than them, that's for sure. Because we have maxed out uh, the game right here. We have basically uh, completed every single upgrade that is... Uh, the, uh, that is in the game so that means our units are either on par or superior to theirs if we, com if we just compare like strictly like infantry to infantry you know you get the idea it's basically units of the same type but anyways uh, we are here at round 17 so uh, we are going to attack that guy and we are going to be um, okay let's get an infantry there and another infantry right there and we are going to take out that guy and we also want to take that artillery out because the artillery will be able to attack us without us attacking back which is not too great and basically the goal right here is going to go down the next turn so we can afford to attack other uh, other places first and uh, let's move this guy over here and this guy over to here just swap over the units because this guy has slightly more health but uh, let's move this guy up there uh, finish off that guy and we're going to move this infantry up over here to threaten uh, the the southern flank of the Italians and we're going to keep these units right here uh, in reserve because they also have yeah, they don't really have a lot of health, do they? But anyways, uh, this cruiser is healing up, so we want to get that artillery out of the way to ensure it doesn't get sniped off by this guy, this cruiser right here. 
So, yeah. And we're going to move that artillery up north to fight the Italians. So, yeah, it's going to be uh, uh, quite long before the artillery actually reaches the front lines. But, yeah, I guess... Yeah, that is the best thing we could do with it right now. But the Soviets are going to be taking Bucharest. And they will start to overwhelm the Italians. So we could turn our focus back on the... Uh, like, basically the French. Who are trying to capture Rome from us. And the French still got a ton of units to throw at us. And the Gaul is basically at zero health right now. So that would mean that taking him out is a really easy task and we have successfully managed to defend ourselves and consolidate our control of uh, Rome and the surrounding areas right there. So we have basically secured a W and we can start to move out right now. We just have to defend from the landing force and then we will be set because uh, we will start to move north towards the... Uh, towards the border and we will start to you know really deal a lot of damage to the French okay so the goal is down we've got two rounds I think and what we are going to do here is we are going to be okay no ace forces this time so um, yeah that cruiser just moved and I am not very happy about that but anyways uh, we're going to attack that guy and we can afford to lose an infantry unit here, that is fine. But uh, let's attack that and... Okay, we are going to let this guy stay over here first. And uh, we don't have enough units right now. So that would be a little bit of a issue for us right here. But anyways, uh, we, we should start to transfer units down south to you know transfer over to the front over here against the Italians because now that the Soviets have taken uh, Bucharest and they are starting to move a huge amount of units into the front lines right here uh, Sofia is that means Sofia is actually safe from the Italians and that means we could focus on the, the Italian front right now and we, we, we will focus on just containing the French uh, and ensuring that they do not land because once they land they will be a lot harder to contain so we want to keep that in mind and yeah so the Soviets are going to continue to move and we should be able to start to move our commander north in the next round and there we go the Americans have landed everything again I guess but yeah okay the French are going to try their best and they're probably going to fail at it, but uh, the Chinese are going to go, uh, like, capture a whole bunch of territory in Africa. So, yeah, and I guess that's really good, I guess. And the Poles are just, like, <laughs> doing nothing, I guess. And it's quite surprising that the North Koreans and the Romanians have actually not been defeated. They are still kind of, like, just hanging there, just, like, right there by, like, I don't know, you know, they both have like one territory, like one, one piece of land left. But we are going to uh, start to destroy all of these units right here. And what we are going to do here is we are going to get an armoured car. And we are going to move into Milan. Uh, move that tank over there. And we are going to be buying another artillery unit. And... Okay. Uh, we can't move that guy there. Because he will get absolutely destroyed by... Uh, the Canadian and the French... You know, units right there. So... Yeah, should I should actually move that infantry there. Then move there, but that is... Fine. Um... Let's just move one infantry unit there. And we're going to leave that guy over there in Sofia because I am a paranoid man right here. And i really, really scared that somehow they would actually make it and capture Sofia from us. Although that is probably impossible right now. But I am not going to take any chances ever since uh, we played as Yugoslavia in 19... 
39 and for those of you who haven't watched that video essentially the Italians used a paratrooper to get behind our front lines and capture Belgrade from us when it is undefended and that is a <laughs> yeah it, it was a fun experience because <laughs> the income really literally just dropped by a hundred percent right there <laughs> like basically a hundred and yeah so after that incident I'm I'm just kind of like man I'm, I'm not going to be taking any chances right there and looks like the Americans have taken back Cairo so yeah it's not really looking too good but anyways uh, the French are going to start to attack us as well but we've got our tank which means yeah the French have, are going to have a lot of issues in containing us so yeah uh, but the Chinese have also lost Cairo as I've mentioned like five seconds ago so yeah it's not really looking too good for them right now and that would mean that the Americans actually gain a source of income like even more income like more than they already have which is kind of scary to be honest because the Americans can really start to pump out units right here and uh, what we are going to be doing here, however, is... Hmm. Okay, so uh, we are going to use the Soviets right there to clear away for us. And they are going to capture this territory and they're probably going to attack Zurich, but that is fine. We just want to make sure that they don't try anything funny, essentially. And uh, let's just... Okay, attack that guy. Uh, attack there. And they've moved into position to block us. And that is definitely not appreciated right here. And that would also mean that we have to move all of our units back over here in case they, they, they get destroyed by this guy over here. Um, I may have made a, a, a mistake right here. Should have sent those uh, those infantry units into the sea and uh, somewhere there. Yeah, we make mistakes sometimes, I guess. And infantry there, infantry there, and move that guy there. Uh, finish off this guy. And there we go. So, uh, we've got this airport right here that <laughs> we have to worry about. So, um... Yeah, and we are going to take that airport because I'm really afraid right now that the Italians will in fact try something funny as uh, as in the previous playthrough with uh, Yugoslavia right there. So yeah, once again, definitely not going to be taking any chances whatsoever. Okay, so yeah, the Soviets are moving in as we've expected, and they have just they they just they just stopped just short of Zurich, and yeah, the okay, but the artillery units have started to move out, which is great because that would mean that we can start to break through and achieve the super uh, the the superiority the the victory, and yeah, so the Chinese are going to retake Cairo, which is definitely great. And, yeah, the Indians are going to, yeah, yep, they're going to continue to just skirmish with uh, the NATO forces in the Middle East over, like, <laughs> basically, I don't know, land, I guess, and, yeah, considering there is an energy crisis, I would expect it to be oil, because, well, the Middle East is full of oil, and, you know, there is... Yeah, yeah, that's that's that, and uh, now we can start to you know we have taken Sardinia and Corsica, so um, yeah, that guy right there, yeah, he's re really being a nuisance right now. The Canadians, and what we can do here is we can um, move this guy over here, and even if this infantry unit lands in Sicily, that is all fine by me because well yeah and essentially we are going to take that and we are going to move there then we are going to attack 
So uh, we are going to be using an assault art right there and we are going to be attacking the artillery and we have successfully cornered the French forces into Zurich right there. So yeah, everything is all going fine and well. Uh, let's finish off that cruiser and we are going to uh, end the turn right now. So now that we have secured uh, Europe, it is time to start to attack Africa. And once we, oh, uh, once we uh, uh, capture Sicily, that will provide us with an excellent base to attack and uh, land in Africa and basically just win the game. Yep, and there we go. Zurich has fallen. And that would also mean that the French threat has ended. And now the Americans are going to, yeah, they're going to do their thing. And the Italians are going to try and take Sardinia back. Yeah, okay, they're just dealing chip damage against uh, Nimitz right there. And that is not going to do because it's just minus one, minus one, minus one. And yeah, it's not really going to do a lot to Nimitz. Yeah, but the Canadians are going to... Right, we're at round 22. So I guess this will be the last round before we end off this video. But we have actually managed to get the French. Like, we have actually managed to defeat the French, which is actually really impressive right there. And uh, what we need to do now is to get a city right here. And we're going to start to spawn infantry units. Uh, there, move that guy there, and we are going to move another infantry unit there to take the hit basically, and yeah, okay, fine, sure, you do you, and we're going to move this guy over there. So, uh, let's just finish off all of these units right here in, uh, no, actually never mind, we can't finish those units off. But uh, let's actually just get an industry over here. And we are going to be ending the turn. So the reason for getting the industry is because, number one, I, I want to be able to spawn units in the south of Italy. And number two, I want to just get a little bit of uh, some industrial income going there because we, we, we don't have a lot of ranches to begin with. So yeah, we're, 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 the only reason why we have so many ranches is because we we have been using infantry units which don't actually cost anything when it comes to ranchers and yes i'm going to be calling them ranchers because yeah it's a lot easier to say i guess and <laughs> yep yeah, i guess and okay so i'm actually going to be ending off this video right here because i'm running short of time but anyways hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you did please do leave a like and if you are new to this channel please do remember to subscribe as well. But that's it from me for the time being. So, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. And of course, goodbye.